a month in the woods, 30 miles outside the nearest city. We're practicing target acquisition. Members of the Southeast Michigan Volunteer Militia meet for training. Is it getting bigger? Oh, absolutely. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Training for what depends on who you ask. But this militia member, who didn't want to give his last name, worries the government will eventually take away his gun rights. Well, any time we get a Democratic uh, president in the office, um, people become concerned, including myself, and we get a resurgence out here. Others just don't like President Obama, so you don't trust him. In short, I think he could be dangerous for the nation. Michael Lacamar sees the militia as a check against government overreach. Just the simple fact that we are out here and we are doing this will give somebody pause, will make them think twice. Because you're ready to defend your rights. Ultimately, yes. Down is fire. Right. And they're prepared to teach anyone, even this reporter, how to fire a semi-automatic weapon like this Russian assault rifle. The members of this militia insist they are not enemies of the government. They say they just want to be prepared in case the government becomes the enemy. The truth is, is that these groups are popping up like mushrooms after a spring rain. Earlier this year, Mark Potok with the Southern Poverty Law Center put out a report warning of a surge in militia activity that came with the election of President Obama. Since that report was issued, Potok says his staff has counted 100 new militia groups across the country. There really is this kind of uh, terrible fear mixed with fury uh, about the idea that President Obama is somehow leading a kind of socialistic, uh, you know, takeover of America. This is not an, an Obama-centered organization. So what puts this across is wound. But militia leader Lee Miracle says his group is different, teaching survival skills that might be needed after a natural disaster. Put one, put your rifle back down. As a military veteran who's now a postal worker, Miracle urges respect for the president. As a postal worker, that's my boss. You're not going to let mess with my boss. But, um, he's your boss. He's my boss, yeah. He's my boss. He should come out and, and have some barbecue with us. If he did, he'd find a movement that's not just gaining new members. How many of you are new to the militia? It's getting more worried. How many of you are worried about the Constitution right now? Worried as in the sense that it's not it's being going bombed. away. Yeah.